guys, She Detector here. So tonight we're going to be doing some night hunting at one of the islands and I'm actually going to be hitting Coin Island. Um, it is going into low tide right now. It is about 8 p.m. and I believe low tide is right at 8 p.m. Um, it is also a full moon tonight so I am hoping it's going to be pretty lit up. There's not really a whole lot of clouds in the sky so you guys can have a look there. Looks like a beautiful night so far. So we are heading out to the island right now. We should be there probably in about 20 minutes or so. I think by the time we get there, the sun might be set. If not, it'll be pretty darn close. Um, it's right off behind those trees over there. I mean, you can't even see it anymore, but it's still up. So off we go. being held right now by heat detector um, because I wanted you guys to be able to see me while I'm doing this video. So he is holding my Wizard Pro light right now and it is crazy bright, substantially bright. I turned it on in the boat and it lit the whole entire boat up. Which, by the way, there's our pretty awesome boat. We've got green lights in it. It's amazing. So I am out here with Beaker and if you don't know who Beaker is, Beaker is my Garrett Sea Hunter Mark II. You can see Beaker right here, and I do have it hip mount tonight, um, so I do have it in the bag. And this is actually a pulse induction machine, and I brought Beaker out here um, mostly because I wanted to be able to go pretty deep. Like I said, it is low tide right now, and it is a full moon, so there's been substantial movement with the sand. So I really, really want to get some good depth out here tonight, um, so I thought Beaker was a perfect choice. And then I am also out here with my Cedo scoop. I have my digger bag, my gloves, I have my Aleter shoes. I brought out my blue ones tonight. And I do also have Seeker, which is my Garrett pinpointer. And I believe I have everything I need for an amazing night of metal detecting. So I'm gonna get geared up and we can get to doing some metal detecting. All right guys, so I wanna show y'all the Wizard Pro light. So I am wearing it head mount, and you guys know that I have my GoPro head mount also. So my GoPro is actually on the bill of my hat, and I have the Wizard Pro um, behind my GoPro, so that's why you see this shadow right here. That shadow right there is actually my GoPro. Um, but I wanted to show y'all the different levels of the light. So the light is really bright right now. Obviously you can see everything really well. Um, but this actually isn't even the brightest it can get. So let me adjust the setting here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is crazy bright. So first, second, third level. First, second, third. Look at how bright that gets. Holy jeepers. Um, and this actually gets dimmer than what it currently is. So I would, I'd, I would have to turn it off and then press and hold the button and it'll actually adjust the levels of brightness. Um, so the level that it currently is at is actually not even the lowest that it gets. It's just what I picked on out of when I first turned it on. I was adjusting it and I was like, well, this one seems good. Let's start with this one. So. Yeah, this thing is crazy bright, um, and I am still waiting for the moon to get up a little bit higher, so you can see it back there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, it's still making its way up into the sky. Alright, and there 
there's the target right here. So let's check it out. So I'm, I'm still starting out. I've only been out here for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and I'm looking for the coin line right now. So I heard something and then I lost it. So is that it? Yep. There it is. First coin of the night. Let's see. Um, probably a penny based on the corrosion. It's probably what it is. All right. So now I'm relatively close to the water. You guys can see the water there, hopefully. Um, and then over there is the higher tide line. So I'm kind of in the middle. So that probably means my quarters um, will be down farther into the water since they're heavier, potentially. We shall see. Like I said, I'm still searching for my coin line. So I kind of walked my way up from the water area, I walked up towards the high tide line, I searched a little bit up there, then I was making my way back down towards the water so I could try and find this coin line. Alright guys, so I'm in the water and I've got a target here. So let's see if it might be a coin. And if you don't know much about the Garrett Sea Hunter Mark II, it is waterproof to 200 feet deep. Let's see if we can't get a scoop and take it on land. Because whatever it is, I think keeps falling out of the scoop. It's little enough. tab. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Ugh. Okay, guys, so I got a target here. I see it. I see it and I crush it with my scoop. All right. This could be a nickel based on the size, but nickels don't generally get encased like that. I don't know. Honestly, it's probably a penny. Probably a penny. Alright guys, so I'm taking a little break, having a drink. Got all my gear sitting here, although you can't really see it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the moon. So I know it, the picture, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but it is super bright out here with the moon. And it's still not even up all the way. I mean, it's up a good bit, but not enough to really light everything up. Got another target.
It's either a penny or a dime. Mm. It's hard to tell. But it's a coin, and I'll take it. Right, guys, so I'm kind of in this little, uh, I don't know, washout area here on the island. And I'm getting a whole bunch of beeps. Um, like double beeps. So, let's see what it is. Now usually, when it comes to this machine, double beeps for me generally mean bobby pins. Um, well, there's still something there, but let's see if I got something in the scoop. Anything. Mm, it does not look like I got it. We'll check it. Put my foot over here. Nope. Okay. So I think I moved whatever it was. Just because it's not really doing the double beeps so much anymore. crappy thing about digging in the water is that it's very easy to chase the target down 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 but I think I got it mm. ah boo it's part of a crab pot So there's a target here, and I'm in a pretty substantial washout area here. I've actually never seen this washout before. So, uh, and I found the culprit, this guy, whatever this guy is. Ah, boo. Well, I broke it. Whatever it is. Ugh. Mm. It could very well be a tent stake. Mm. Alright, guys. So there's something here. It was just a teeny little blip when I first swung over it. So I just barely picked it up. So it's either really deep or really little. Thinking it's not deep. I just saw it. I thought. I thought I just saw it. I did see it. I think that's it. Yep. That is it. Uh. Huh. No telling what that is.
It's a tiny little gold something or other. I'm pretty sure that's not real gold. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be because it's ringing up. I do believe that's it. Yep, that is it. Maybe it is real gold. I don't know. All right. Very nice. All right guys, so here are my finds for my night hunt with my sea hunter. So I found a can, um, some pool tabs, bottle caps. This is the bottom of like an umbrella stand that you screw into the ground or um, like a dog hookup. Some pieces of a crab pot, a screw. Um, this is that big black chunky thing that I ended up breaking while I was out there. I'm pretty sure it's to a tent stake and like here is what's left of the tent stake but now it's just a sharp pokey tetanus filled thing um i found i don't even know what this is it's like a little piece of metal brass maybe something or other um i found this honestly when i first pulled this out i thought it might have been a butterfly knife but once I washed it up in the water, I realized that it's not. It's actually hollow inside. So I don't know what that could go to. Um, I believe I eyeballed this sitting on the sand. It's like some kind of rubber something or other. So I got that. And then I found this tiny little, I mean, it's gold color, but it's not actually gold. There's, um, I was able to do a little scratching on the side of it. I don't remember which side it is but it's not actually gold it's some kind of metal that's just I don't know coated in gold looking paint maybe <laughs> so yeah I found this I it would have really liked if it was real gold but it's not so yep found that and then here are my coins I didn't find nearly as many as I was hoping to but overall, it was still a good hunt, and I did find a decent number of targets while I was out there. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the number of coins that I found at Coin Island. I was really anticipating finding a bunch more. Um, I think we were a little off from the locations that I normally hunt. Um, it, it was a little harder at nighttime to kind of get to the spots that I normally hit on Coin Island. Um, I did find, you know, a couple of targets, but I was really hoping for more coins. Overall, the hunt was wonderful. It was pretty awesome being out there pretty much by ourselves. There were a couple of other boats on the other side of the island, but there was nobody else on the side that we were on. So it was really neat to be able to be out there in the full moon with the water splashing on the beach and being the only people in sight. The Army Tech Wizard Pro light was fantastic on the beach. Again, I did not have it on the brightest setting, but I also didn't have it on the dimmest setting. I kind of had it I mean, more towards the brighter end, but it definitely wasn't nearly as bright as what it goes. I was wearing it head mount, and here's the actual mount. Um, so what I did is, you can kind of see, hopefully, how it mounts here into the bracket. Um, it has this little bracket here that goes onto the straps, and then it snaps into these two prongs, and then there's a little band that goes over top of it just to kind of lock it in. But what I did was, if you look here, I have it angled not quite down, but also not quite out. So I had it kind of at an angle. This way it could see the targets that I was finding and it could also see me actually retrieving the targets. Um, so it's really nice that you're able to kind of angle it at whichever direction you need it to go. And I wore this over top of my hat. So I had my hat on. My GoPro was on the bill, and then I had this over top of my hat, um, resting right on the top of the bill. Um, but it fit perfectly, it worked out perfectly, so no complaints so far on this. And again, if you want more information on the Army Tech Wizard Pro flashlight, here is the box, so you can see all the information. 
but I do also have a link to it in the description located just down below. So make sure you check that out. A big thanks to Army Tech for sending me the Wizard Pro. Um, it was a great first hunt and I'm really looking forward to more hunts and my dive with it. So if you remember, I'm actually doing two giveaways. One giveaway is for the Pirate Metal Detector and the other giveaway is for the Pirate Pro Metal Detector. So there were hundreds of people who entered the giveaway. So total for this contest, there were 192 people who are entered into the contest and I'm gonna go ahead and do the drawing right now. So for this giveaway, I'm actually going to be having my Amazon ALEXA pick the winner by having her pick a number between 1 and 192. So we'll go ahead and do the pirate giveaway first. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 192. Your random number between 1 and 192 is 133. 133. So number 133 on my spreadsheet for people who were entered into the contest is David McMillan. Congratulations David McMillan, you are now the proud owner of a slightly used Pirate Metal Detector. So now we're going to select the winner for the Pirate Pro Metal Detector. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 192. Your random number between 1 and 192 is 136. 136. So number 136 on my spreadsheet is Patricia Doyle. Congratulations Patricia, you are now the proud owner of a slightly used Pirate Pro metal detector. Alright David and Patricia, make sure you send me an email to shedetector at gmail.com with your information so I can get these two machines out to you. Thank you to everybody who entered the contest. If you like it when I do giveaways, make sure to hit this video with a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and until next time, I will see you guys later.